Hey y'all, this week's episode of Gay Side Stories will be a complete and utter mess. However, we are completely sober, so you getting us live and direct, uncut, raw. Wait, those are probably poor. Mm. Hey (laughs) (laughs) y'all. Welcome to another week of Gay Side Stories. I am your host, Trillificent. And I'm your other host, Chillshire. As always, you guys can find more information about us and this show at GaySideStories.com. If you haven't already, you can also find us on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play Music, all of those good things. Make sure that you uh, subscribe, uh, do us a favor and rate and comment. That helps with our visibility and helps other people find us helps our show grow we can come back every week and give you this good old black ass gay ass entertainment and don't forget to share because sharing is caring yeah because caring is sharing I known <laughs> y'all was gonna do that. um i also wanted to say uh this is episode 11 so i wanted to give another uh thank you to everyone that has been listening mm-hmm. uh sharing mm-hmm. doing all those things that we oh, just talked about yes um this has just been it's been fun it's, it's been, been really it's been, been something really, yeah. you know it's it's uh so you know we're really appreciative of everybody that oh, stuck with us guys. for these 10 episodes and now we're on episode 11 mm. so let's get it cracking um, did you see that Rico Pruitt, that dude from About Him and About Justin, is doing mm-hmm. full fledged porn now? Yes, and he went I, with that studio that takes everybody first. Black, <laughs> bl- black BBA. Black, it's BBA. Black boy addiction. Yeah, black boy addictions. They like they do like I don't know if you remember back in the day it was this dude that used to be like a YouTube stripper. His name is Freaky J, and then like he went to do the gay porn route after he was so ladies only on his movies or whatever, mm-hmm. and then he was. Pussy boy, mm-hmm. number two. All up the shoot. Mm-hmm. Really, literally. <laughs> uh, but yeah, more power to him. If I'm that's not, what you wanted what you to do, do, do it. Do it. I mean, I think because he had already been put out there involuntarily. So he was like, well, I'm going to volunteer myself because y'all not going to get me. Because mm-hmm. that's what I do. You think you're going to put my nudes out? Bitch, guess what? I'm going to put my nudes out first. And then what you going to do? Look at them. Mm. Well, if that's the route you're gonna do, do it like him and make sure that when you put it out, you get paid for it. Yeah, and he got the, what was the last oh. like twelve hundred or something I seen. Oh, I don't know. That's when, you know me. I'll be all up in the business. Yeah, I can't. Oh, oh, I can't wait till we do that episode because oh, you have. God. So you should. You know, you should. You could be a Cisco director. Evil. I really could. I've you always could really be a gay I've porn really director. thought about that. Like that's one thing. That like, did I you really... see? Which one is? Is it Dog Pound? Oh God! No, no, no! But it was one. I think it was Dog Pound where they had like that contest, and then that dude oh, be and won, dude won. He was and he able did to. The, yeah. That you should I do something, did like, something that. like that. I was thinking about <laughs> submitting something, but I. Didn't. But I don't even know what do you submit to apply. It was yeah. like you had to write a story, but then they wanted like a picture, and I was like, "Bitch, that was back when I was." Yeah, okay. Insecure me. So, yeah, y'all, this this is so much fun. Um, TJ, with no shot with none, with no alcohol. What is no your? Oh well, do we have a? What's your school in life for the week? Um, this week I have a few. Okay, Stay come with on. me. Do all this stuff this um, week. Come on. Th- the first one is number one. Just I, I, I've kind of had to like get back on track with the show uh the last couple episodes as y'all heard i was all over the place (laughs) and i just wasn't it i just did not feel like i was my usual self um yeah we human and we have issues right and so you know i had to go back and i was like okay let me change the format because i kept forgetting about the school in life Mm -hmm. um or let me rearrange the order rather and uh doing my work you know i haven't really been working on on trail mines because i just i just have a lot going going on on. right um so i've been 
trying to identify those areas and redirect my energies. So I feel like I'm back. And it's actually probably good timing that we're doing a sober episode, <laughs> you know. So, I don't know. That just the thought of it is like because y'all are getting uh, like it's like, us when us. we drunk, but but this, this is, is like, like us, us when we're not drunk. And Which I don't, for me is not that often because I'm always you drunk. are always drunk. <laughs> but Lit. this is me not drunk. Listen, hey, I have a bar at my house, so we pray for your liver. Yeah, I think that might be what's wrong with me now. That's why I'm low-key <laughs> drinking all this water and cranberry juice and ginger mm-hmm. ale. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, another uh, one of my school lives is I was reading some, like, gay comics. Mm-hmm. Some uh, just some kind of normal fantasy one. Some of them more explicit. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it was just something that I like to do, something different. Um I was also scrolling my uh, tumblers just because I hadn't done that in a while. So mm-hmm. I was just kind of doing that. And I was working on my own personal tumbler for my writing, which mm-hmm. is different from my Trillificent tumbler. Right. Um, but we'll more on that later, friend. Mm-hmm. Hey, best friend. Mm-mm. Hey, best friend. Mm-mm. That no, video, sorry. it was so weird. Hey, best friend. Right. I was Y'all like, remember this dumpster? I'm like, what, what are you doing, doing at the dumpster? What are you doing at the dumpster? So you about to reenact the scene like, like it was in the show? Right. Who thought about this? Who, who signed this is off why, on this? This is why I'm not a director. This is why I don't give these people anything. Because but the hey, are. best friends was enough. We didn't need to go back to the dumpster. Like, uh, that was much. It was a lot. And now you see that they have. I don't know what they're doing with about him, because the the it's, one it looks like about Harriet Tubman crossing the Jordan. Like it's it's a lot. From the previous, it looks real pro black, which I'm not mad at. But well, because there's one that is, I think it's available on Amazon. That's the one with the original character. Okay. Because remember, there was a point when I told you on his Instagram, mm-hmm. he like deleted everything, right? And but started I that over. Was just the DVDs because they're selling DVDs. No, 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 no. The, it's about him fresh, like oh, it's okay. his freshman year of college. Okay, I might buy that. But that, but it's a different. I don't think it's on DVD. It's just because I, you know, I have an Amazon Prime. No, they were saying the DVDs are shipping. Okay, the next season, but I think it's a different company that's doing it. Because remember, he was like, "Oh, I'm not, I'm not with right. them no more," and da 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 da. Right. And then next thing you know, it was like casting calls for right, freshman for year. Freshman year right. I <laughs> but I that. think the original company is still doing something with about him too. I just don't. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. <laughs> that ain't none of our school in life. Sure. So what is your school in life this week, friend? Well, actually, and you will be super proud of me. I'm always proud of you. I have you. the worst problem with checking my emails. All my friends know this. My mom knows this. But everyone continues to send me emails, which is fine. Oh, because I don't ever email your ass. Right. But now you can because I have completely cleaned out every one of my email boxes. Wow. If I get... It had to have been like 25,000 emails. It was. <laughs> it really was. I want you to see this. He's I want you to proof. see that mail app has nothing. <laughs> Not a damn thing. How many accounts are attached to it? Seven. You think you mean? I did a good job. I'm proud of myself. I you actually went and deleted everything, didn't you? No, I actually was trying to. At first, I was like, "Fuck this! I gotta go through this shit." And then I couldn't. But you know, on your phone, you can't just delete them all. So then I had to get on the computer. Well, actually, I didn't even get on the computer because I was at work. I got on the website, but I had to use the web version. It was a lot. I had to get all those passwords. Oh God! It was. I've been all week trying to get my email together. Mm-hmm. So now when I be popping up with other email addresses, that's because I'm bad bitches. So basically what he's saying is if you email him at chillshar at gmail.com, he'll actually get it and read. I can. Whereas before it would have sat in the email abyss. Mm-hmm. But there's no more abyss because I cleaned it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's ready for action, y'all. <sighs> get into it. All right. Uh, this week on Trill Minds, uh, I saw this article and it was interesting, so I pulled it for the show. Cool. Um, there's a Japanese politician. He is thought to be the first out transgender man elected to public office. Okay. His name is to- Tomoya Hosada. Good luck. I think that's right, but Come sorry. Come on, name. He's 25. 
Mm. He was recently elected to the council in Iruma. It's I R U M A. Sorry again. Japan. It's a city of about 150,000 people. Oh, yes. And he said, quote, until recently, people have acted as if sexual minorities do not exist. We have many hurdles to overcome, but I hope to live up to everyone's expectations. He said he also wants to help create a system in which diversity is celebrated and minorities, including LGBTQ people, the disabled and the elderly are protected. And before he was in public office he raised aware or before he got elected to the office rather he was raising awareness for lgbtq issues and sexual health and he modeled for the out in japan photo project Hmm. so that picture oh i my thought on that it, it just really it just goes to show how ass fucking backwards america is other countries other civilized westernized whatever the terminology is countries in the world other rich countries because that's what y'all understand Mm -hmm. are electing trans people to public office and this is by all accounts a smallish town like 150,000 people Mm -hmm. electing an out trans man to office whereas here in this raggedy country 150,000 people they are they are progressive they gonna make sure they elect the KKK right head honcho Right here, we we can't even get them to leave people alone about where they want to go pee. <laughs> right. So, kudos to Iruma, Iruma Japan, Japan, and kudos to him. And kudos to y'all for making a Nintendo, whoever that was, because I'm gonna give me one. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay. Sure. Sure, Jen. Sure. All right. So this week, uh, last week was kind of last week was very heavy. It was. It was heavy, heavy, so heavy on me. And uh, I wanted to switch it up this week a little bit. I talked to Cheshire about this during the week, and he was like, yeah, let's just do something light because. Hmm, and thank week was y'all for so all draining. the reaching out and the support, yeah. mm-hmm. but we are really fine. Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> we're okay. I know y'all think that. Like, oh it was God. not it, nearly it, as emotional <laughs> as I thought it was going to be. And it just goes right, to show how we have, well we have grown grown and, exactly. and have dealt with those things and we're okay with it like okay. you know we don't have issues with our past but no. we appreciate all the kind words yeah um it just go yeah. listen people we out here living real shit <laughs> um so this week we're gonna keep it a little bit lighter mm-hmm. and we're gonna have a discussion um so there was a tumblr post mm-hmm. that i came across i know right um and it said 10 tips for bottoms who want to keep a top mm. Now, the actual post is complete with not safe for work gifts, and it's just a whole lot going on. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want to see that, I guess you can message me. I mean, I'll send you the link. You probably have seen it if you mm-hmm. are in the seedier parts of Tumblr. <laughs> Come on, man. Because you know how people. Tumblr is. Come on, y'all nasty. But anyway, I thought this would be very interesting to discuss. And I know we have talked about bottoms and bottoming a lot. But this is a different perspective. It's not really solely focusing on the bottom, and you'll see what I mean as we get into it. So you you ready to get into it, Let's friend? Let's go. Little All right. kitty cats. I think it's time to go. Hmm. You don't want no more. <laughs> right, that's why they want to give you some tips. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want no damn more. <laughs> um, we still have fun. Even yeah, so. <laughs> without you. <laughs> So the first one says, make up your mind to take the cock, which I was like, mm. make up your mind to take the cock. Are we going to the pig pen and picking that bitch up? Listen. Oh, I seen a video with like a cock, like a real one, a rooster coming up out. That bitch was huge. That big ass chicken. Yes. I saw that brolic ass motherfucking kangaroo looking ass chicken. <laughs> I was like, what the? That's the. That chicken has a membership at Gold's Gym. Probably. So. I know that. I that, know I seen that. I out. know that chicken can bench press at least 325 pounds. <laughs> but anyway. But anyway, okay, so the first one says, make up your mind to take the cock or dick. Or um, penis or wood or whatever you whatever. want to call it. It says, never be shy about being fucked. Very few men died from taking dick. You won't. So, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of people that have died from taking cock, but that's another story. I think they mean human cock. Well, I'm just, I know what you, I, I, I get what you're saying. Not, but, a, not like that. But... Although I, I did think... see that one, that one video. <laughs> see, see, see? <laughs> there's always one. Oh, um, that video where that man was like, 
having sex with that horse. I don't have he time. died. I, he died he after. Died. And I was like, sir, why are you sucking the horse's penis? He should have died. Why are you backing it up on a horse? He should have. A real horse. He, <laughs> a no, real sir. horse. He should have. But. Oh, my goodness. I mean, if you're going to have sex, I think your mind is made up to take something if you're going to be a bottom. That's just what happens. You don't go into bottom like, okay, today I am not going to take cock, but I'm going to bottom for somebody. I'm not going to think, I'm, my mind is not going to be made up. Maybe I should do it. Maybe I should make up my mind, bitch. What? Make, what? <sighs> for some reason you were saying it, and the first thing that popped into my head was like, Power Rangers, <laughs> and it was like, bottom! And I don't you, have time. I don't have time. And then time. you transform, and you like, bend up, I'm ready! Right. Do you have to make up your mind? It's more um, time. Like, what? I'm not 100% sure what they meant by this, but my, my thought on this was you have to be careful because it makes it seem like you, 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 you need to make up your mind to take dick and then just, like, you don't need to give up your autonomy to be able to, to bottom. You know what I mean? You don't need to be like, okay, I'm going to take dick. Ugh. I don't need to think about nothing else. I just need to lay here and let it happen. Like, no. you don't need to do all that just to be able to nah. get fucked. Like, you know, because if he's hurting you or if he's not being safe, like, you need to get your ass up and be like, yo, get right. your shit together. Like, don't just be like, okay, I have decided that on this night, mm. I shall be fucked. All right. Like that just sounds it's so... it's much, like like you said, you've already decided you're gonna have sex. Right. Like calm down. <laughs> could you, you know? imagine? Yes, in, I could. <laughs> sitting in front of the mirror, today I will be the bottom. Right. And then you turn around in a circle. Like, right. One one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time. I don't. Oh my god. Uh, what is number two? <laughs> I just can't. I can't, y'all. I can't. I don't know. Okay. I need an alcoholic beverage for this little shit. <laughs> <laughs> you picked the wrong week for us not to drink. Right. <laughs> okay. So number two kind of segues into what I was just saying. Allow the top to have his way. It says many times us bottoms want to be in control. We want to ride the dick. We want it doggy style or on our backs. A lot. Of t- <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Okay. <laughs> Allow the top. To be the top. Sometimes we need to think that tops nobody. <laughs> I can't even read it without laughing. This is so fucking ridiculous. Okay. Like, what is this mindset that if you ride and dick, oh, that you are fucking? in control? Oh, what are they fucking? Like, I've seen plenty of times and experience where the top is like, get on top. Like, oh, they, right. you know what I mean? Like, right. and allow the top to have his. Listen, again, you you do not need. To become a sex slave, just to have sex with it. Anyway, what do you, what 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 are your I, thoughts on this? One? I don't about allowing the top to have his way. Number no one, Chrisette Michelle. I don't even understand. No Burger King. What the hell they're talking about? Because, um, shit. Because I know there are aggressive bottoms out there, there are, but I'm like, on average, I don't know I don't, if bottoms are as aggressive, aggressive as y'all as are trying to make bottoms right. out to be. Like, no. I don't know if anybody's that aggressive in sexual situations oh, right. at all. I, I mean, don't know, most, average. Most of the time where I have sex, it's like a mutual thing where, where we both have our own, you know, and. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I, I had a thought about that. It's like, this is on Tumblr. And <sighs> if you think about, like, the kind of stuff that's on Tumblr, the clips that we be seeing. I can kind of see where this mindset would be like, you just need to let him have your way. And I'm like, okay, but what if he's sadistic and he back there like burning my ass with cigarettes and trying to stick his whole fucking forearm up my shit, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And swirl it around like fucking... I don't. I don't know. Um, That was my note. I just put um. (laughs) I was like, what? I disagree wholeheartedly. Like... If that's your thing, I mean, if that's your thing, that's your thing. But to be submissive, that's one thing. But like that, know. that doesn't need to be the default to keep a top. Like what the fuck? Anyway, want to move on? Yes. Ooh, our favorite topic. Oh god. Number three says, "Douche well, fleet." Um, and the note just says, "Be a great bottom. Be clean." Now, we have advocated on several occasions right. that you need to give it a what? Um, Hashtag good rinse. I can, I can agree with that one. That but goes without saying. at the same saying. time, that just goes with being a bottom, period. I mean, right. Okay. Unless he says you don't need to or I'm cool if you I don't, don't. I don't want those type of times. And that's a whole different conversation. 
but most people they don't want to pull off your drawers and be met with no fecal flakes like they want that shit to be clean they want it oh to be God. right you know wait, what i mean wait what story okay so me and some of my friends we like to get on periscope and like go to people's scopes and just have fun while we were like on zoom talking to each other mm -hmm. and there was this dude he was like i'm gonna private y'all and he didn't know that we were all like talking to each other at the same time and he was like he did this private that's when you just invite certain people so everyone can't see what you're doing so he decides to show his ass and dance around but he didn't know that he had all of the charming cotton balls all over his ass they was falling Not down the residue they was falling down oh. like snowflakes when i tell you we ain't never laughed so hard in our life at somebody and like when we see him now we be like are you clean back there do you need to check you out before you go private <laughs> the charmin bears would be so embarrassed uh, oh shit that is so, is it was so funny that is so trifling. It was so and nasty. And then I, but I had already warned them because his picture, I had seen his face before. His picture that they were looking at was not him. So I was like, well, y'all go, y'all in for a good show because you know I'm good for setting somebody up for some bullshit. Mm -hmm. And when we all got up in there, oh my God, it was the funniest day ever. But anyway, look, y'all should see his face. That is just. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. That is. <laughs> I'm sorry that just, mm. It was hilarious y'all Let's move on cause, mm. But yeah clean it out mm. Number four <laughs> 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 no, <I'm sorry. laughs> Clearly that story took me down Cause I'm just like Oh the stuff we see Just being on the internet is so Like fun. you just got all these Dingle bells and dingleberries oh back God. there. I just... And they were back there falling down like snow. And then they fall in and like he was London just bridges. twerking his little booty like, yes, I'm doing it. And he really wasn't doing it. But it was just. You know it smelled down. like a truck shop. And he was he like. Was not fresh. He, what did he say? His excuse was, I'll be at work and that's from my draws. I was like, but you got all blue draws. And these are white flakes falling down. So. What the hell kind of draws you wearing? Right. Cotton draws and why you didn't take no shower before you did all this if you knew you was gonna be all assed out mm -hmm. let's move on because <laughs> number four says learn how to arch your back oh girl this should be your one-on-one -on -one in having sex practice to arch your back it's the only way tops want your ass to which i reply nigga what right bitch what learn to arch your back i mean okay I, okay I mean, so here's the thing mm -hmm. And the thing is here. I mean, I have a nice arch. So whatever. I have never, I'm in my thirty-two down. years on this planet, heard a bottom tell me or a top tell me the ass was trash because he didn't know how to arch his back, or he told me it was trash because I didn't, I couldn't arch, arch my, my back, back the way he wanted me to. Mm -hmm. This is some. I mean, I've seen people in movies be like, "You need to arch a little bit more," or whatever, but. Right, but those but are in that's movies. Just, that's right. porn because but, of the, because it's about the aesthetic. Right, if I look because you got a camera across the fucking room. Mm -hmm. In real situations, I've never heard. And I mean, maybe he'll be like, "Okay, Archer, back like this," but mm -hmm. I've never just I've never heard anybody be like, "Man, let me." So let me tell you how I hooked up with this nigga, and I thought that shit was gonna be so fucking good. Wouldn't his ass so, was so fat. That would be some funny shit. And then I told him this. to arch his back, and he yeah. could only arch it eight degrees. And you know I require a thirty degree arch. I'm not, like, I'm not, I'm could not. you imagine? Like, get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. Like, if you can arch your back, great. If you can't, you still gonna get fucked. Mm -hmm. Like, fucked don't on your back. don't be out here. Right. <laughs> like, don't be out here. You can't arch that out. In need, <laughs> don't be out here in need of them them uh, icy hot shits that Shaq be selling because you're trying to arch your back and your body don't work that way. Ooh, could you imagine going to the store buying icy hot because you arch you arched your back a little bit too much, or you got to go to the hospital because you arched your back? Too What's wrong with you? Well, last night when I was arching my back, my back got stuck, and now mm -hmm. I got a big crick in my back. Right, so now I'm shaped like a letter J because this nigga told me to arch my back extra, and now my shit is hooked and I can't fix it. Get the fuck out of here. J for joy, arch your back. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, 
Um, number uh, whatever. Okay, because I don't have numbers on okay. these. Okay. Says stop gripping the ass. Says sex experts have always said to grip the ass, make it tight, but the ass should always be tight. Instead, relax the ass. Try it. You'll see the top transformed. I don't understand. What? I don't. Okay. I guess they they probably had sex with somebody that was really inexperienced and. I don't know. That's just a lot. They don't know what the fuck they talk about. Because gripping the ass. Mm, okay. First of all, the way that they wrote this is confusing. Because when I first read gripping the ass, I thought that they meant like while you're getting fucked, you gripping the top's ass. <laughs> and so I was like, what the Come fuck? Come on, aggressive y'all? bottom. Right. I was like, <laughs> grab that ass, ho. Get it, get it. What get does it. this mean? You know? <laughs> And so, but when I read the explanation, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, you mean like. Your, your hole, because you're right. relaxed. Right, you mean like I can, tightening. I understand what they're saying, only because I've had somebody tell me that I needed to relax a little more, but that was because I didn't like them, and <laughs> we were living together, and my mind just wasn't into it like that, mm-hmm. so. But when your mind is into it. Mm-hmm. I think you just go with the flow, right. like because. But but trust me, if it's still grip, they gonna get it in there, right? Well, I don't know if they mean like you constantly because you can't constantly keep. I it, think it's just because that muscle will wear right, out. I think initial, what they mean is like win. while you're in the act, you're squeezing. Mm, come on, squeeze. Now I've I've heard of. Um. You know, tops being like, you know, squeeze it for me. Mm-hmm. And I've, I've even seen something where somebody was like, that shit is whack. Don't do it. Do what works for you and the right. person that you fucking. But don't feel like every situation. We've talked about this. Uh-huh. Y'all need to stop going into sex with this one plan that is supposed to work. One size fits all and it don't. Mm-hmm. Because not all dicks will fit into you. Right. Anyway, okay, let's move on. Yeah. No, nah, I don't. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. Come on, grip. Or Kung not. Fu grip that ass. <laughs> <laughs> Number whatever Six. says, mm-hmm. try unconventional positions. Says, now I'm not asking you to climb on the balcony and make the sex but amazing. Wait. You just told me. Listen. To not be, what did he say? Don't be aggressive or... What Don't be aggressive. Uh, let the top have his way. Let the top have his way. But now you're telling me to do these positions. Which one do you want, man? It says, how many bottoms fuck on their sides? Not many. Most times, tops push for this position. This is an easy position for the bottom to handle the then dick. just Trust do me. it. This shit is all over the place. This just do it. I mean, if you want to fuck on the side, the back, the front, the upside down, do it. This shit it's is not, all over it's the It's not place. rocket science. It's really not. Oh, Again, I, anyway, this I don't even uh, I don't even have no notes on this one because I was just like, what? But you know, mm, let me not. Mm, no. You might as well. No, <laughs> because like when I'm talking to somebody and we're getting into sexual acts, we talk about what you like and mm-hmm. what you want to do, and we do those things. Mm-hmm. It's not like I'm just laying there or they're just laying there or we're just laying there or. We'll try different things. Um, I I have a thought on this, but I'm gonna wait until we get through the last three. Um, all right. So, whatever number this is, eight. I don't know. Maybe whatever. Whatever. It says know how to moan. So there's a huge difference in moaning and wanting your neighbor to retort. To report you for disturbing the peace. So I'm, so basically, when I read, I was like, "So you want you, you need to be Janet and not J Hood in the bedroom." Oh my god! Um, oh my god! I hate you. What? Because I just seen Janet Jackson go. Oh, ooh, it feels good. Oh, I like it. It feels. And then I see J Hood. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> like I can't believe you just put that in my mind. Like I see them like having like. Let me stop. 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 Mm-hmm. Stop. Mm-hmm. Stop. Because mm-hmm. I'm I'm seeing. Oh, no, I'm not seeing. Oh, my God, y'all. Why did he put this in my mind? Okay, let's keep on moving. I, uh, learn to moan, y'all. Y'all better learn how to moan right, moan I correctly. Guess. I don't know 
my thing with this is mm-hmm. how is Mona supposed to keep your top coming back? Because a lot of um, now let I me, know, let me play devil's advocate. I do know tops that like to hear the vocal, the right, the they like that kind of stuff. But my thing with this is why not it be give feedback instead of just moaning. Like some niggas want to hear you, they want to, they want you know, some niggas want full dissertation while they dig Trust down. me. I so, know. <laughs> yes, I know that you know. Okay? I know that you know. But just anyway, I'm like this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> moan sure. y'all. Y'all better moan. Sure. Get your Janet on. Get your Janet on. We don't like no J. Your, we do your, not your want, Jennifer Hudson. You know, Trey songs lied to y'all with that neighbors know my name shit. Apparently that is that not is what's not hot how in you the street. Your top. That is not how you keep uh-huh. your top. Because you know they probably deal, so they don't want the neighbors to know their names. So you better get your Janet Jackson on and not your Jennifer Hudson. Mm. We should get that on a shirt. Get your Janet Jackson on <laughs> and on the back, not your Jennifer Hudson. <laughs> not Jay Hood. <laughs> no Jay Hood. My, my shirt lady. All right. The next one says, be hungry for the dick. Which I'm like, are you eating? Didn't we already talk about this? Anyway, okay. Oh, okay. The note says, if you want to take bigger dicks, you must master the average dick you are getting now. Okay. But so, wait. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Huh? So, if you're trying to keep the top that you already oh, have, have, why are you worried about taking bigger, bigger dicks? This, you see what I mean? Where I was like, you... I mean, this never had me because this is foolishness. But then we get to the to close to the end and you just like, really took it left. Like... like Keep your top. So basically what you're saying is you need to keep this top so you can practice for the big, big dick big top, top that you scared to fuck with. It was a bottom that wrote this. It sounded like a <laughs> white bottom that wrote this. Right. One of those I think I'm black bottoms. But we're not even going to talk about you. Mm-hmm. I will in your face, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and he will. <laughs> Tread lightly. Uh-huh. Which white ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So the last one. Mm. I misread this one. I misinterpreted this one at first because it just says be a fuck boy. But and then I heard, <laughs> read, I read the note and it said tops want to know that they have a bottom who can handle the dick and give him good sex. Okay. So I was like, first of all, you don't know what fuck boy means. It was a white one. That's not how we use fuck boy. Exactly. Um, second <laughs> of all, what is this advice? Why do you keep going back to you just need to let the the top whore you out and do whatever the fuck he wants? Mm. Like, how are you supposed to get any... Like, if you make this... T- I'm going to take dick and I'm going to let him do whatever he wants and I'm going to let him swing me up on the rafters and fuck me over the balcony and, mm. and, and you know, hold me by one leg while he's sticking it in is. the back. Like, if you're doing all this, when do you have time to enjoy it? Mm. Like... So where's the flip of... List of how to top keep your bottom. Right. You know, <laughs> from what I've been seeing online, a lot of bottoms have been leaving y'all high and dry. Listen, when I come across it, we don't talk about it, but I have it. Um, That's so your you, homework this week. Y'all find that story and send that to us. Right. Face <laughs> uh, stories at gmail.com or go on the website and use the contact forum. There it is. Uh, so I mean, that's really it. That is. The uh, end of it. Do you have any other thoughts that I you want to? I just want to say, don't take this list for real, y'all. Just first of all, it was <sighs> on Tumblr with with sex <sighs> gifts. Right. Like, it's just, not like it's from a reputable source. Yeah. Although this topic, I mean, if you gonna trust me, if you gonna keep a top, you are gonna keep a top. It ain't got nothing to do with with that list. And if there's somebody worth keeping, if they don't like something that you are doing with them, they're going to tell you and y'all are going to improve. And then y'all going to have better information with each other. Mm-hmm. I like how I use information right there. That was good. Okay, bottoms. Now let's get information. Right. Um, For me, <laughs> I read the, and I'm like, these are tips that at best, maybe you could have better sex this right. doesn't have anything with, to do with or, keeping anybody right. or anything that's just sex. and even at the end of the day i mean you could have the best sex that's questionable and, um and guess what a hole would be a hole exactly because shit like this is not gonna keep your top it's not gonna keep your bottom it's not gonna keep your verse it's not gonna mm. keep your stud your femme your husband your wife none of this is gonna keep them if they don't want to stay kept, right. like that's not how this works that's not how that works at all 
Like, you're not just going to all of a sudden one day bend over and be like, you know what? I am not going to give him the Kung Fu grip action on this ass today. I'm going to relax. I'm going to I'm gonna be relax, relax, release. thinking <laughs> about birds and seashells and, and water on the shore. And he is just going to be transformed. He's going to come to Jesus. And, I mean, and if you like, do that, that just might be a better situation for yourself. Like, it right, just, but, that's but, not gonna guarantee, but that's not going to guarantee nobody's going to stay. Trust me. And my thing with that is, which kind of goes into my next thing, it's um, good sex. Just like you said, good sex has never in the history just of this raggedy ass planet with these raggedy ass homo sapiens. Hmm, come on, it has never kept anybody in a situation where they did not want to stay. Right. It, it Just like you said, it don't matter how good the sex is. You think about, especially for you gays, your most of your favorite Singers and all, all they've been cheated on. Like good sex and money, being beautiful. None of that. Stuff. If the nigga want to cheat, he gonna cheat, and that's just the end of the day, at end of the story. Um, uh, but again, this list does not read to me as in keep your top in a situ in a in a relationship. Mm-hmm. This is like keep your top in that moment while y'all having sex, right? <laughs> Which <laughs> because he might just walk out on your ass, <laughs> be like two strokes. You know what? This shit is too. Was that? This is too I tight. To go I can leave. Oh no, you did not clean. I'm about to go. I mean, that's what it sounds like. Like right. keep your top for that for that session. <laughs> Make it last a little longer. Make it last forever mm. and ever. Mm. Um, and then my my last thought on this is, and I've said this before, and I will keep saying it. You have to do what's best for you and best for whoever you're with in that situation. Which means communication. You need to be vocal about what you want and what you like, and you need to be willing to listen and adapt to the things that, that your partner want. likes. Right. Like, and that's it. That's all it takes. You know, all of this other shit. You got to rotate three hundred and sixty degrees on, and rotation. and fold yourself into in half so you can fit into a suitcase and all that shit. Like, you don't Ooh, need to do all of that. That sounds kinky. It sounds like death. <laughs> well, it was a lot. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> You know, that's what I'm saying. You don't need to kill yourself for these times. <laughs> Trust me. Because, oh, let me. Mm, uh, mm, don't, don't say it. Say it. Say it. <laughs> no. Say it. No. You made me say it earlier. You said it. <laughs> I was going to say. Because most of them are what? And this applies to not just bottom, this applies to women, like straight women, really anybody dealing. Like, you killing yourself and most of the time, the shit going to be wacky anyway. The dick going to be little. The stroke gonna be not to your liking, mm-hmm. you know. He gonna be, he gonna have a whole list of shit that he don't do. I don't suck dick, and I don't kiss, and I don't lick necks, and I don't, you know, mm-hmm. eat corn or whatever the fuck. I don't know <laughs> where that came from. Oh, no, please don't eat corn. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> you gonna eat this corn out of my ass today? <laughs> I can't. Y'all get this real off this podcast today. I'm not. <laughs> Now that's kinky. That is nasty. Like you need your starches today, bitch. You gonna eat this corn? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Be like, Mm-mm. be no. like, did I tell you? No. Why is it corn on no. the floor? I'm not even gonna say that. What did we just go through? <laughs> you, you might as well say. There was somebody who did ask me once. They was like, I want to put something in there, and I was like, like what? Other than your penis? Right. They was like, well, I just want to do something a different. I just want to do something different, like. And I don't want to use like regular, what, cucumbers or nothing like that. I was like, don't that's put not food regular. Food in my but rectum, please. they was like, I want to put like a sausage and eat it out you of there. You told me about this. And I was like, um, I think we talked about this on the show. No, we didn't. We didn't. No. Are you sure? I'm positive we didn't. Because I remember being like, why would you put something so salty in a booty? Because I think that was one of our before conversations. Oh. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, and it's so salty. It's, but my why would thing you put is, pork in my hole? My thing is, me personally, I have this fear of something breaking and being like stuck in it, and I gotta go to the hospital to get that taken out. And how am I going to explain that at the hospital? That I got a Be hole, like, sir. <laughs> I got a whole half a sausage. Why do you have a Hillshire sausage right. in your rectum? And you'd be like, okay, so listen, check it out. Right. Picture it. Because I've seen, I've seen like <laughs> stories of people putting like dildos and stuff up there, and they're getting stuck. So, right. So I. What the know. hell? Just trust me. 
trick. Well, because yeah. some of y'all be all kinds of everything. Some of y'all be acting like your booty hole is bewitched and can fit a whole fucking Buick and shit. And I be looking. Listen, Tumblr. Like that one video of that man that was like damn near sitting on the whole traffic cone. And I was oh, like, where is this going? Turn. Where is this going? That makes my stomach turn every time I die. I feel like he it. had like a witch cast a spell and be like, okay, here's the never ending an- anal cavity. Mm-hmm. But where, mm-hmm. But why? I just. Why would you? Who, listen. That's, that's, that's is, the person that needs to. Uh, Oh, well, they need to grip. I was going to say, they don't need to relax <laughs> any further. How do you keep your bodily functions together? I know you just be going to the bathroom. You just wake up. I'm and... just thinking about what have you done <laughs> that to allows, your backside. To allow a traffic car. To be so desensitized oh God, that, that was... you have to sit on a uh, traffic cone uh, uh, to get your jollies. Jesus. Why? Jesus can't even fix that. I don't know what you need. Mm-mm. You Mm-mm. can you put a new bus on layaway? Do they you know sell what? them at Kmart? You know they be having them surgeries. What what the girls get they uh they um stuff tightened. Maybe they got a booty one too. Could you imagine going to the doctor? Doctor Miami, I need a tighter pussy. You don't have a pussy. I said pussy. What does that mean? <laughs> You know what a motherfucking I'm talking is. about. I'm talking oh. as Dr. Miami. Oh, well. Keep up. Oh, shit. Damn. Dr. Miami. Well, I've been doing a lot of strange things for some change with my behind. But what would you even, like, would you wrap, like, do you need to cut into it and, like, wrap right. a string around and it and pull, pull it? it together? Do you have to get stitches and pull it? Oh, that's just a lot. That's a whole lot. So then I'm worried, now I'm wondering about the person, like, so do you, like, walk around in depends all the time? Because yeah. I feel like... Like, can you imagine, like, oh, yeah. I told you. Last night, I was, oh, that traffic, me and that traffic home was getting it in, bitch. Woo! Because that's all you call people. And then the yeah, next day, you eat McDonald's, and, and that shit, shit go, all right. It's Why a straight eating, shoot from esophagus to ass. Like, <laughs> it's going straight out. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no a, traffic. You should be a skinny bitch because. He was. You can't eat nothing. I've noticed that it'd be a lot of skinny men that be sticking all kinds of foreign objects up there. Foreign objects, people's arms, legs and toes. Oh man, I saw this one thing. Somebody had two arms. Uh uh-uh. uh. Y'all are doing too much and you don't know who y'all are. And when I came to come on. Because you, you I was so out. shocked. Okay. I would have passed out. Like like, doesn't I that... was so shocked. And but, 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 no, 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 no. Like... Let me tell you what's funny about it. What was funny about it is that oh, one so of the gay strange. comics that I have that happened to somebody, but it's a comic. Right. And so then to see it in real life, and I was like, like I know that is resilient. I know that it has some snapback, but you know what. Mm-mm. But we're not shaming you. Well, no, do if your that thing. is what you that's like, what you like to do. Then go ahead and do go it. Go ahead and do it. But let me tell you what you no want. No judgment do. here. No judgment here. But you're not using the bathroom at my house. Mm-mm. Because Mm-mm. you liable your whole to fucking kitty to come out. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> shit, be like, oh, I just need. To... Uh, can you? Can you just? Help me, you know, half of my intestines just came out. Bitch, what the fuck? Mm-mm. How? Why? Mm-mm. I finally graduated to two arms. Mm-mm. Like, can you imagine? Mm-mm. Oh, that's too much. Let's wrap it up because I don't know what the hell just happened. <laughs> yeah, mm. He was sitting on a traffic Mm-mm. cone. I don't have that. St- that video actually Listen, does between turn. sitting on the traffic mm-hmm. cone and that man having sex with that, that horse. That turns my stomach when I see that little like it's like a commercial or something that be on, on one site, and it's always that it's like a traffic cone, like a pool stick. Pool oh, that shit turns my fucking stomach. I no, 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 no. Oh man, I need to find something so that we can talk about topic because what I have questioned, you mm-hmm. like the tuning. You know what that is? No, that's too. Advance for me. I don't even want to know what that is because the way your face looks, <laughs> my face looks. Yo, I am, I am literally disgusted. Like, 
tune. I think it's called tuning. Mm-hmm. So tuning is when they stick stuff in the I, pee hole. Oh hell no! <laughs> I ha- Y'all, um, <laughs> if you have a gay side story, oh. <laughs> like, hey, I cannot. I can't. I can't. I cannot. Like I can't. Oh god! I am too sober for this shit <laughs> today. Uh, no hoes. I can't. And I know y'all probably can't either. Y'all like, ooh, that look- no. Mm-mm. Listen. Because the com- no sir, listen. Because they do that a lot in the comics that I look at, mm-hmm. and then at the end they have advertisements mm-hmm. with like real porn companies. Oh God, they do no. that shit in real life. I'm, I'm in pain right now, and I just mm, I can't. I cannot. Mm-mm. Yeah, I can't. And they be metal. I cannot. They be sticking whole big ass. Oh my rods. god, y'all! If y'all don't get this boy <laughs> off this topic. <laughs> Like, oh my god! Listen, if you're into tuning, no, email me. Just, I'm just, email I just him have questions at his personal email address. Email us at gaysidestories at gmail dot com and, and put that as the topic so I can <laughs> tuning so I can pass that shit tune the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so nasty. That is that just that hurts. Oh, Listen. you know when you get that uh that test and they put that thing. Mm-mm. Hell no. Mm-mm. Oh no, y'all. Mm-mm. And maybe st- Mm-mm. all the way down to the base. I can't. Oh Jesus, it hurt. Oh my Ooh. God, that shit hurts. Mm. Okay. Woo! So. Woo! Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm. All right, y'all. Uh, <laughs> that is another episode <sighs> of Freaky Gay Side. <laughs> I can't. Gay Side Stories After Dark. Mm-mm. You please listen to this after dark, cause baby, that's mm-hmm. a lot. That's mm. um, mm-hmm. Mm-mm, y'all. Yikes! All right, uh, you can subscribe. Come on, subscribe on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, or Google Play Music. Sure Rate and comment on our episodes, please. Mm-hmm. Again, it helps with our visibility, um, mm-hmm. right. especially the uh, iTunes comments. You know how iTunes mm-hmm. is. You ain't got enough comments. Fuck y'all. Y'all the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, as Joe Shaw was saying, if you have a gay side story or wisdom, or if you just want to talk to us, you can email us at gay side stories at gmail.com. You can follow the show on social media. We're on Instagram and Twitter as gay side stories. You can like us on Facebook mm-hmm. and we're also on Tumblr as the gay side stories dot Tumblr dot com. And don't forget to share, y'all. Yep. There, it, um, there's going to be some new stuff coming soon mm-hmm. within the next couple of weeks on the Tumblr. But we'll talk about that more when I have it ready. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can go to GaySideStories.com and we have lots of information. You can see our bios, learn more about us. On the extras header, you can see the... Bar Chillshire drinks, mm-hmm. um, and there's also a link to the Trio Minds blog, mm-hmm. so you can see the other stuff that I talk about that I don't talk about on the actual show. Right, Chillshire, tell the people where they can find me. Y'all yeah, can find me as Chillshire pretty much anywhere. If you type in Chillshire and you see somebody, it's more than likely me, except for Snapchat because that's somebody else. And nobody has Chillshire on Instagram, but they maybe put a underscore after my name which pisses me off every time I type it Hmm. right have you ever tried to change it yeah it won't let me it was like my name is invalid yeah some bullshit Hmm. but anyway you can always C-H-E-L-S-H-I-R-E me that's me well no me but you know (laughs) and I respond I joke around I love talking to people so do whatever yeah your best bet to find Chillshire would be probably on Periscope yeah, I'm on there all the time too. All the time. Me, you can find me. I'm Trillificent everywhere. Email, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Tumblr. Um you probably will find me more so maybe on Twitter and uh Instagram. Or my email. So if right. you want to talk to me, if you wanna discuss something with me, if you want some advice, if you just need Someone to just um vent to feel free. Wanna go. I'm just, just feel free. Uh, you have any other Not parting thoughts? Not today. 
Okay. I'm just wanting y'all to know that I ate something bad Thursday and I was feeling bad Friday. So, mm. He's but I'm mend. actually I'm okay. Saturday I was okay on Saturday, but I'm just being careful. So he's on the mend. So I'm on. Um, where I'm trying to be great to my body this week. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's know, nice. We do need to be better to our bodies, right? Because we get one. Um. All you, right, y'all. Yeah. Well, thanks for listening, and as always, protect your walls. Mm-hmm. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. <laughs>